It's also a real honor tonight to introduce our speaker. He's very, very special, I'll tell you that. At the age of 13, he won a local radio contest to be DJ for an hour. He did something right, because today he's America's third most listened to radio personality, syndicated on more than 230 stations nationwide. I know, it's amazing. He also hosts his own weeknight TV show on CNN Headline News. He publishes Fusion Magazine. He tours the country in his own one-man stage show. And he's also a best-selling author. If you haven't read an inconvenient book after hearing him tonight, I guarantee you, you'll go out and buy it and you'll read it. And when it comes to the Second Amendment, he puts his money where his mouth is. He devoted this week his radio and TV shows every single day to Second Amendment topics and guests. He says his only wish is that people feel goodness from his show and accept him for who he is, flaws and all. I'm sure we will tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a big round of applause and welcome for Glenn Beck. Hello, gun nuts. Thank you. I have to tell you, it is, it is really, truly an honor to be with you tonight. It really is. I am, uh, to be honest with you, I don't know my butt from my elbow when it comes to guns. I really don't. I, uh, my wife looked at me the other day. I, I, was, coming down the, I was coming down the stairs. We, we thought we had an intruder in the house. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning. I had a shotgun, I had my revolver, and I'm coming down. She's like, oh, dear God, you're not coming back alive. <laughs> but I'll tell you, the reason why, and I'm not a joiner, I never have. I've never joined an organization. I don't really believe in, in organizations. I believe in rights. And I, this year, joined as a lifetime member of the NRA. I know this is just coming from a typical bitter white guy that's clinging to my God and my guns. But I have to tell you, if it wasn't for an organization like the NRA, we are going to lose our rights. I don't know, honestly, I don't know who these clowns are in Washington. I have no idea. Didn't we have like 4,000 people running at one point? We had like the entire state of Maine running for president and we've come down to three guys that Obama, Hillary, and John McCain. This is the best we got? I swear to you, it's like we've got Larry, Moe, and Curly. I don't know. Moe's got a pretty good health care plan. Yeah, but you seen Curly, he's good on defense with the eye thing. I don't know. I think we deserve a little bit more than that. I, I don't recognize the America that they keep telling me we are in Washington. I don't recognize that. I, oh, quite honestly, I, I'm beginning to see the former Soviet Union more than America, the one we all grew up in. What is... What is going on in Washington? You've got the Republicans who have they haven't sold their souls to oil. They've sold their souls to power. They've sold their souls to money. Then you've got the Democrats. 
who have sold their souls, which is ironic because I believe they sold their souls to Karl Marx. I'm not sure. You've got people that just want to hold on to power. You've got people from the radical left. I mean, they're, they're listening to clowns like Michael Moore, who's a meatball in shoes for the love of Pete. <laughs> you got to ask yourself one time or another, where the hell are the real Americans? Where the hell are the real people? I'll tell you where they are. A lot of them are in this room tonight. And the rest of them, the rest of them are hard at work. The rest of them are just trying to keep their head above water. The rest of them go home at night and are screaming at the television going, it's not that hard. How many times have we sat and watched the news and went, what? That's their answer? Just this week, Congress passed a couple of bills. One was to stop filling the strategic oil reserve. It's going to save us 70,000 barrels a day. Stop filling, remember we're fighting two wars, the strategic oil reserve. By the way, our enemies happen to be the largest oil-producing countries on planet Earth. Nancy Pelosi said, 70,000 barrels every single day, gas prices could go down, I don't know, maybe as much as 5 cents to 25 cents a gallon. Wow. The only problem is, the same day, Congress also decided not to open up the Anwar because, and this is my favorite quote of the day, it will only produce about a million barrels a day. <laughs> Wouldn't a million barrels a day, gasoline should be free! Special interests, radical left, stupidity, and bullcrap. Bush has a 23% approval rating. Congress, which is always telling how much Bush sucks, has an 11% approval rating. I mean, somebody should tell these guys we like lawyers, hookers, and crack dealers more than the people in Washington. <laughs> and you know why? You know why? You know why they have such a low approval rating? Because we're onto them. We get it. We know exactly. We smell bull crap from another farm down the street. We can smell it coming from you. <laughs>